former presidential aide Renu Omokri has said that same rights northern states have to ban the selling of alcoholic drinks is the same rights southern states have to ban open grazing of cattle. Omokri was reacting to a statement made by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Kamalami, SAN. The southern governors were wrong to have moved to ban open grazing as part of their resolutions from their meeting last Tuesday. Malami described the move as unconstitutional, saying the southern governors saying they will ban open grazing in their state is like northern governors saying they want to ban the selling of spare parts in the north. Omokre, however, lambasted Malami and the president Muhammadu Buhari government, saying the comments of the AGF exposed the government as being in support of the atrocities caused by nomadic hessmen all along. When Isba demolishes the businesses of their fellow Nigerians in the north for selling alcoholic alcohol, where was Malami to defend them? But now that the open grazing ban has touched his anointed killer hessmen, he resurfaces to protect them. That is what they are always doing. Anything that concerns Fulani S-men or Fulani, they will just quickly come out. But any injustice against other people, maybe in a different way, they don't say anything. They don't say anything. If Nigerians can't do open grazing of pigs in the north, then local and foreign S-men can't do open grazing of cows in the south. You should not condemn one without condemning the other, except you mean southerners as second-class citizens. The comment by Buhari Attorney General Malami that banning open grazing is like banning spare parts trading shows this regime is fully behind killer esmen if northern states can ban beer and pig farming southern states can ban open grazing and that is it hypocrisy they don't even they think maybe they think that the other people they are talking to they are they are zombies no i don't know i don't understand I think they can't hide their nepotism and religious bigotry again. Can you imagine what a country attorney general of the federation is saying? Very disgusting. Absolutely right, my brother. It takes common sense to understand the way things should be. Nigeria is not for a country. If this kind is your attorney general of the federation, a bigot, myopic, and ill-informed man, who sees nothing wrong in when the constitution on federal character appointment is not is not followed, but always comes out with a dance of shame in the market square. Nigeria is never one and can never be one because there is no unity and love. All man should go his own way. AGF indeed. It clearly shows that he is the attorney general of the Fulanese North Federation. I wonder how he was appointed. Buari's decision... And Bize appointment is causing a lot. Have motor spare parts killed? As, as, have they killed anyone in the north? The comparison is very outrageous. Very outrageous. The north and south are like oil and water. They can't mix. Nigeria, uh, different ideologies. What right do the northern state government have to ban beer, pig farming, pig farming in a secular country like Nigeria? And nobody in the south is fighting against it. Does that define one indivisible Nigeria? Henceforth, North cannot do what they like as long as we are still together as one nation. Sharia law should be abolished since southerners are free to live and work anywhere in the country. And that is it. Even the things here mentioned are incomparable. I never knew southerners the real spare parts for not to hmm, shock. Sure, but in Nigeria, they only choose to implement the laws that punish their perceived enemies. Open grazing was banned in Nigeria many years ago, but nothing was done to implement it. How can this country move forward with this kind of people with their ideological mindset? Whenever issue of addressing security pop-up is against the North, Haba, Manam. The AGF ban spare parts in the north. Let the AGF ban the spare parts in the north. Neposic like Lawan, they all think alike. Don't mind the fools. Do they think that is a big that is a big issue? The people in the south do business in every country of the world, so they are 
capable of relocating it to other African countries. Try to relocate your cow out of Nigeria and see the steel resistance those countries will give you. Hmm, what a wrong marriage between the South and the North. Thanks, NBA as a body should do the needful by investigating his call to bar. <laughs> you should investigate his, his call to bar because this one, eh? You are more prosperous if you are spare parts in the southern Nigeria than in the north. Naturally, restructuring is taking its rightful position. Until we continue to change things by ourselves, I believe they will say one day, Katu is what they prefer than anything in the southern Nigeria. The north is clearly against the Igbos. That is why Malami mentioned spare parts. In the north, you easily win elections once you make an Igbo and anti-Igbo statement. But this time around, it is the south versus the north. The divide and rule tactics have been broken. Why? Always reason through the annals. The hypocritical north banned say of beer, but didn't ban the revenue made from beer. Hmm. The cow and the beer alcohol, which one is dangerous to your health? Okay, now see this what this one is saying now. So if it's dangerous to your health, so which one is it? Are they forcing it? It's forcing you to drink it or what? I'm talking about the consumer's rights. Somebody said consumer's rights. Okay, you are not supposed to touch anything from haram, Abi. How is what is dangerous to my head your concern? Why did you exclude the pig farm? You can't be clever by half. If you want to compare, somebody is talking about alcohol and beer. Now, this is another now quickly just say, oh, uh, can you talk about... They reason the same way. You see, they reason the same way. It is cow. It is people's uh, crops. You talk the elder. Will you keep... Uh, please, don't uh, be sentimental. I don't know what this one is trying to say. Well, northern destroy people's business. Not enough, destroy people's business and ban selling of alcohol in their region, but open grazing is not acceptable. See, then let's see what happens. But say, uh, why pigs and alcohol are not popular in the north? Cattle meat is popular in the south, including alcohol and pig meat, so the north has a better case. Really, Shekau, special assistant on media and publicity. Okay. Well, big uh, problem of not is just brain. They all acquired cow brain. Just like uh, the Sultan of Sokoto said. He's the one that said it too. And when you see the way they behave, you just wonder. Is it, you know, when you begin to hurt a, in a devilish manner. And you begin to behave like that. Because that is not how God created you. So guys, let's say your opinion and let's have your take on this. Thank you.